What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge. This is called Nary Tree Post Order Traversal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, remember how the last video we did pre-order traversal? Well now we're going to do post order traversal. And what's the difference? Well in this example you see 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6. Instead of going to the node first and then it's children, we're going to go to the children first and then the node. So what's 1's children? 3, 2, 4. What's three's children? Five, six. So we go five, six, then three, and then we go to the rest of one's children, which is two, four, and one. So it's five, six, three, two, four, one. Okay. So how are we going to do this? We are going to, I'm going to show you the iterative, uh, not iterative, of recursive way first, and then the iterative way, iterative way. Did I just say way, ray, whatever. Okay. So we're going to basically do the same thing as the same thing as we, we did before. If it's null, we're just going to return an empty to return. So I'm going to create a vector int to return. This is just me, the array that we're returning for the pre-order post-order traversal. With the values of the post-order traversal, we return to return if it's null. Otherwise, we're going to call post order and it's going to help post order helper. And then we're going to pass in the root. And then we're going to pass in a vector to return, which is the vector that we're passing in that we're going to add values to this to return for each post order that we're going through. And then we are going to return to return. Okay, so now let's think about how am I going to do the post order helper? Well, we need to, well, post order helper is going to be a void function and it's going to be called post order helper and it's going to take in a node for our the root of whatever, yeah, whatever root we're currently, let's say current, current note, just to, and to make it like not so too uh, ridiculously complicated. We'll pass in the to return, the array that we are returning, basically, the array that the values that we're going to add to it that we're returning for each of the post order traversal. And what are we going to do? Well, instead of doing, <clears throat> excuse me. We are going to add all the values from its children first to to return all the values of its children. So cur children at i uh, children at i, which is a node, and then we got to do push back to the add node val. Okay. So this, this basically just adds every single child of the current node and we're adding its value to, to return. Then after that, we're going to do to return dot push back, add the current nodes value. So instead of actually doing the, instead of actually doing, we're adding the, the node first, the current node we're at currently, we're actually going to add its children first. So five, six, and then we're going to add the current node. So this is going to do five, six, then three. And then because three, two, four are the children of one, we're going to do five, six, three, two, four, and then one. And that's basically it. That should be all it is. Let's run the code. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Three, two, four, four, one. Three, two, four, one. Okay, something's not right. Three, two, four, one. Did I add, I did add, I added the children first. Go through its children. Oh, I didn't, okay, whoops. Don't add this first. It's supposed to be a, we're doing it recursively, so we're, I was about, supposed to do this, where I call in post order helper again, and we're going to pass in the each children and to return. Yeah, because we have to go through the children first, then call in the children again, go it's, its children, then add, then add the values. Okay. So yeah, I'm supposed to add call post order helper again, and we're going to call post order helper on its children for the current node's children. And each time we do it, we add it to to return. Yeah, and then we got the expected values, five, six, three, four, five, six, three, two, four, one. 
and then submit it and it got accepted. Okay, so that's that's how you do it recursively. It's how I would, would do it. And now we're gonna talk about how to do it iteratively. Okay, this is gonna be more complicated. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do it, how to do it iteratively. So how would you do this iteratively? Well, you would actually need to use two stacks. I pretty sure you need to use two stacks. There might be a way to use one stack, but this is how I would do it. We first may create, maintain two stacks. So this would be one stack into the other stack. We are going to push the first node onto the stack. So the root one. And then what we're gonna do is we're going, we are going to pop this out of the stack and then push it onto the output stack. So this output is gonna be one. So this is out. It's output and that's input. Then we are going to push all the left, all the nodes from left to right into our input stack from one. So all the children of one. So that's three, two, and four. Then after that, we're going to pop four out of the stack and push it into our output stack. Then we're gonna add the nodes of the children of four. So from left to right, and that's nothing. Okay, so that'll be nothing. Then we're gonna pop two, and we're gonna pop two out of the, add it to our output stack, so this will be two. And then add two's children into the input stack, which is nothing. Then we're gonna pop three, add three to the output stack. Then add the, the nodes of, the children nodes of three, which is five and six, and to push those onto the input stack. Okay. We're going to pop six, add it to our output stack. Then we're going to add six children from left to right, which is nothing. Then we're going to pop five out of the input stack, add its children to the input stack, which is nothing, add it to the output, and then we're done. Now all we got to do is just keep popping of our output stack from pop five, six, three, two, four, one and add those to our array. So we're gonna pop five, six, three, two, four, pop four, one, and that's gonna be our final array that matches five, six, three, two, four, one, five, six, three, two, four, one. And that's how you would do it. So I'm gonna implement it right now. Okay, so we have I have a current stack right here. Uh, yeah, I have a current stack. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let me just do the delete this. And so I first push the root onto the stack. I need an so I need an output stack also. So I need stack node output stack output stack output stack. So that's our st output stack. We push the root onto the stack while our current stack is not empty. While current stack is not empty, we are going to get the top value of our current stack, which is uh, the top value of our current stack. I'm going to call it top. Uh, top whatever top val top node top node Okay, so I'm gonna get a top node and I'm gonna pop the for the Pop the first value off of the that stack I'm going to push it onto our output stack Push the top node to our output stack Okay, so now that's gonna push that then I'm going to go to the children of top node equals top node dot uh, begin ta it not equal to top node dot n it plus plus so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna go through all the children of top node top node dot Whoops, dot, top node children, dot begin, top node, 
dot top node children dot end dot end plus plus okay so this is going to go through all the children and I'm going to push it onto my current stack of each children after that's done I'm going to have a stack of the values of here and there and I'm going to do while output stack is not empty so output stack is not empty I will get each node top node top node from each uh, output stack dot top and I'm gonna pop it so I'm gonna pop pop the value we're going to get the top node of our output stack and then we are going to add it to our array. Okay, so we're going to add it to to return. So to return dot push. So this is going to add it to the back of to return. So top node. Uh, we're going to add its value. And then after that, we're going to return to return. So this is how you would normally do it. Reason why we need two stacks is otherwise we would have to reverse the values, which is something I don't want to do. <clears throat> that would take more time, I guess, but this makes more sense. So yeah, now we have five, six, three, two, four, one. Submit the code. And it got accepted. So yeah, that's how you would do this using a post order traversal you would need two stacks and you would add the children you would need to push the children onto it and then pop it all afterwards when you're done so that's how you would do it rate comment subscribe i'll check you guys later peace